Hey guys, another Blender tip, tutorial, whatever. It's not really a tutorial, but I just want to talk, talk to you about these shaders. Uh, so I actually had a request, thanks for that request, on how you would achieve a cartoon look in Blender. And uh, you can actually do this, you can actually composite a scene. Like, uh, I, w I looked at your account if you're watching this and saw that you were into anime. And I'm not sure how you would do that, but in general you could render a scene out and using the compositing nodes make that look like a cartoon or like a drawing a drawing actually um, yeah a drawing like a sketch so that's pretty cool but that's not what I'm going to show you here it's uh, this is actually using the materials and using the shaders shaders if you're not familiar with them are down here different shaders will give you different results and they are named after the inventors blender is open source so if you are a developer if you know uh, python you could download the code and change whatever you want, add stuff. Even if you don't know Python, you can still add stuff like I did to facilitate moving through the faces. You can't see there, tab. Moving through these faces uh, with the help of the tutorial, of course. I don't know how to do that, but, you know, it's still adding on to this. Anyways, um, so the different shaders give you different results. Like this minaret gives you like a velvet look. The the original gives you a plasticky look, and the tune, I'm not going to go into all of them, but the tune is actually the one that gives you the cartoon look. And so if, we get, if you change the diffuse shader, to, diffuse shader to tune, this is what you will get. And you might be puzzled, and you might be thinking, if you have a well-lit scene, this is, my, this, this is what you would get. Because... Uh, I'm going to explain to you these right here. The intensity, of course, is uh, just basic as always. and um, But size is actually what you want the light to affect. So a bigger size means there will be less dark spots. F12. And you see that there's less dark spots without me changing the lighting. So uh, depending on how you want it to look is the size you want to give it. So I can't really give you a cart uh, fit size for a cartoon look. It just depends on what you're looking for, what look you're going for. The smoothness is the transition between um, the light and the dark. Just like that. I just I didn't change the size, just the smoothness and it, it looks much better with a m bigger smoothness because uh, it's not as abrupt. And that might be what you want, so you might want to keep the smoothness down. just depends. It's actually the same thing with the shader. The shader also has um, the specular, I mean, also has shaders, the tune shader, and they work the same as um, the this up here. The size uh, affects the size of the specularity. So if you want no specular, you will take that to zero or even turn that off with the intensity. So yeah, you saw how that looks. The highlights and um, the smoothness again. If you can see that this ball right there growing, as I increase the smoothness to make it fade out more into the whole thing. So that's how you would achieve a cartoon look, messing with those colors. And of course you can change the color to whatever you want it, whatever your material already is. And one more thing you can do, this doesn't apply to the tune shader, it applies to all. You can actually have... Um, edges to show to give it even a more cartoon feel so if I were to render this you can see an outline outside and it works for all the shaders so it's not just tune so and the threshold is affects that tells you how much you want it to draw so let me actually change this I want the specularity to go back to like it was Maybe a little bit. There we go. It's better. Increase the tune size just so you can see it better. You can see the outline right here. And if you increase the threshold, it increases um, w what it outlines. This is not a good angle. Let me rotate that. There, F12. Alright, and you can see it, it slightly outlines the eye there. Uh, up here in the brow and the nose all around the whole head so that's pretty cool so uh, I hope that answers your question again if you have requests leave it in the comment below and um, uh, 
um, I don't know everything about Blender. I'm not going to pretend like I do because I don't. It's a huge program and I'm not into animation. Um, I am not into the physics of it. So, I mean, you can leave questions about it. And if I don't know something, I'm not just going to ignore the question. I'm going to research the subject. And if I find tutorials on it that I think are helpful, I'll give you the link to that. And so I don't leave you empty handed. Also, if you leave a comment below, and if you as a viewer read comments and you know the answer to that question, go ahead and reply to them so we can help each other out. Um, but that's about it. I hope this answers your question about uh, making cartoons. Uh, it looks weird, but depending on the look you're going for, I mean, everyone has a different opinion about this this looks real and this doesn't look real or this looks like a cartoon and this just looks weird you know so it just depends on the scene you want the atmosphere you want to create so uh thanks for watching